Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2, a lot more of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and these are the guides to the classes. Today on our menu is the Gunner as one of our next classes. Before we jump into the topic, as always the shameless self-plug. If you enjoy the content that I'm producing, please feel free to subscribe or leave a positive comment down below. It takes you a second and it goes a long way. Thank you. Uh, moving on to the Gunner class itself. So the Gunner is a spin-off of the Grenadier, uh, basically uh, from the um, uh, base game, uh, basically uh, taking away all of the Grenadier ability and just solely focusing on this big juicy gun of his um, to make that the core aspect of it. As always, the class comes with three different trees. Saw Gunner, the middle tree has a name for once, which is called Sentry and the Machine Gunner. Um, the gunner, since he is so limited to uh, what his role is, which is utilization of uh, said gun, actually is in a bit of a, a, a pinch hole. And here you see where the original, I would say, class system of um, Long War comes a bit to its limitations. Whilst it is great to have a gun, um, and whilst in the original uh, Long War series the gunners had squad side and uh, were a little bit uh, competing with a sniper um, uh, amongst uh, uh, having that role as a long-range fire support, in Long War of the Chosen or Long War 2 they are more of a heavy gunner um, uh, type Type of role, and they are focusing more on um, uh, on a utility function, uh, which is area suppression and suppression in general. So I would describe them as a primary, uh, primarily utility and uh, secondarily damage uh, type of class. Others can deal damage uh, more reliable than the gunner, which uh, comes to one of its general design problems, which is an atrociously bad um, uh, standard aim progression. So he uh, has inherited and still has uh, uh, pretty mediocre aim progression, which means even at a high level, um, you will have a really, really low uh, to aim. This particular um, gunner here uh, has a pretty high amount of aim with 87 uh, because I'm continuously putting uh, Roby through covered ops missions, which, by the way, would be something that I would um, suggest you do as well if you want to use a gunner in your A team. Uh, but that's just, generally speaking, something that you should know when using the class uh, because uh, it will affect uh, affect your uh, gameplay. Now, let's jump into the uh, three different uh, tracks here and uh, get a bit of a sense of uh, why I scaled the gunner the way I would uh, uh, scale him. Number one, Lance Corporal, you either go with a center mass, uh, which deals more damage with a gun. Keep in mind, I mentioned at the beginning, damage dealing is a secondary, not the primary objective. Combativeness, uh, which allows you to parry, melee attacks and counter attack, and also on top of it gain 10 defense. That might not uh, read like a lot if you are not familiar with what uh, that means, but let that sink in for a second. Number one. You get the counter-attack ability, making you effectively immune to many attacks uh, from chrysalids and so on and so forth. Uh, you will essentially parry that, which is awesome. Number two, you uh, get a counter-attack ability, which is even better. You can trick enemies into attacking you in melee and then deal damage and parry on top of it. And if that wouldn't be enough uh, to begin with, you also gain 10 dodge on top of it, which is fantastic um, in, in one talent. It is better, simply better than uh, one point of damage with a gun. One thing to consider with the guns in general is the damage de uh, uh, difference between uh, guns and normal assault rifles is a bit larger than in uh, the normal game for the higher tier weapons, so uh, specifically gauze weapons and uh, plasma weapons. But it is by no means um, that big uh, that you would um, uh, that you would take so many disadvantages. So the class itself. Um, is focused on something that would probably need rebalancing um, to make the guns substantially more uh, more strong and probably also give him an improved version of center mass where he basically gets two additional points of damage because with the higher level weapons 
you're already dealing 12 points of damage. You don't need that additional point. Anyways, Grazing Fire, a nice ability if you are going into the Overwatch route, uh, because you always will deal some damage. Next up, Corporal Rank Flush, an ability that allows you to uh, shoot enemies out of cover and essentially gives the class an option to deal with cover overall um, and um, basically flush out a single enemy. Um, that goes nicely together with Overwatch based builds, so this plus an Overwatch Ranger for instance can make for a nice tech team. Um, it's a bit of a different game style. Um, it is very limited though with um, uh, enemies that just don't rely on cover. Formidable, I mentioned that in many of the other class game uh, class guides, is another kind of package ability that is incredibly strong. Two additional hit points, on top of it 50% less damage from explosive attacks. Survivability is important, guys, and that's why both of these skills here are so priceless to begin with. Lockdown. 15 uh, to hit against enemies who attempted to move uh, when suppressed is the natural extension of kind of suppressing and then you uh, then you deal with them. This, however, yet again is another ability that is very niche. You need to commit fully to that um, uh, Overwatch uh, game style to make it work compared to a formidable which is always active. Next up, Sergeant, Ra uh, Sergeant Rank. Hail of Bullets allows you to guarantee a hit, which is really, really good. And you might ask yourself, hey, Saikon, why isn't that what you've picked? Because a guaranteed hit is nothing to sneeze at. It's actually a really good ability. But Shredder, which allows you to primarily uh, to use your gun and um, shred with each attack, is just just better. Uh, you will run into um, he heavily armored enemies and you need every class that can theoretically shred should have uh, their shot at removing armor. That is how important uh, removing armor is. And as you can see with later um, uh, build in rapid fire, it's a very, very strong ability. Since rapid fire, um, we'll come to that in a second. Anyways, mayhem, 25% damage bonus against um, enemies that uh, try to move uh, when uh, suppressed, which is pretty good. Um, it, uh, again, it is uh, if you're going for the machine gun route, that's just another uh, kind of bonus that you always want to take. Um, grazing fire, lockdown, mayhem, kill zone uh, together, and cool under pressure. If you go that route and just fully um, uh, uh, work as a lockdown type of um, uh, type of gunner. That is perfectly acceptable. The way that I'm playing the gunner with support, support for me means, first of all, surviving. That's why I have chosen that. Secondly, using Shredder, that is supporting the, uh, uh, the rest of the team uh, so that they can deal more damage. And then whenever um, uh, these abilities are, um, the, the base or core abilities are met, then I'm going into the uh, Overwatch tree. Next up, Chain Shot. Generally a good ability, but outshined by rapid fire, which uh, does not have a cooldown at the moment, so don't bother taking it for now. Iron Curtain, a special attack uh, that reduces target's mobility for the following two turns, which kind of goes into that uh, idea of you are locking a target down and it cannot move away. Not bad, but if you look at Demolition, you have a clear winner right here, because uh, this uh, class, at least how I um, am preferring uh, to play it, um, allows to shred and remove cover. So very uh, similar to the Grenadier in a, in a sense, but just with different tools. Demolition, definitely something to look after. Tech Sergeant as the next strength. Cyclically uh, Fire is an AoE attack uh, that can hit multiple targets. Pretty damn good if um, if it does so. However, takes a lot of um, uh, takes a lot of uh, shots, three to be precise, and has a high cooldown. Danger zone, um, area suppression, <coughs> um, widens by another five um, uh, five feet radius. Uh, pretty much an uh, B plus A tier ability, but cool under pressure is probably the way to go here. Um, let me maybe explain my rationale here. If I was uh, going for maximum damage, cyclical fire might be the better choice. That being said, the gunner, specifically with rapid fire and removing the cover, mainly uh, plays a role in support. And the gunner has area suppression as a standard ability. So um, having a greater area suppression whilst 
uh, that is nice in order to apply a, a greater uh, or debuff to a greater number of targets. The real kicker for cool under pressure is that you can now critically hit and um, that you gain an additional uh, bonus uh, for uh, for these um, uh, for these reaction shots. So I personally really like it because together with uh, area suppression that allows you to automatically take a reaction shot against every single uh, target that moves within the suppression area. Um, you want to make sure that those uh, bad boys hit. Um, you are often running out of uh, ammunition, anyways. With a standard area. I'm uh, more than uh, more than once I've I've taken like four, five, six enemies in there, and since area suppression itself already uh, uh, takes three ammunition, even with an expanded, extended magazine, you cannot um, hit all of them before running out of ammunition, which makes danger zone a little bit less appealing. Um, like I said, cyclically fire, uh, cyclical fire, good if you were to AOE damage from the get-go. Rupture, um, very good ability. Unfortunately, uh, this is A tier, whilst uh, rapid fire is S tier um, throughout. It's just an incredibly strong ability. Synergizes well with uh, Shredder to give you two shreddings and even outshines skill zone. So unless, uh, I would probably even on a, uh, on a pure... Overwatch based gunner, I would probably still take rapid fire, all of the other uh, skills here, and rapid fire. That's how good it is. And finally, there is saturation fire, which. Um, um, oh, sorry, cyclical fire, my bad. Saturation fire is the AoE. Cyclical fire is three attacks uh, on the same target, which is cool, but it requires both actions. <coughs> and uh, rapid fire does the job a tiny bit. Uh, better uh, than uh, cyclical fire. My bad, I mess, uh, messed up uh, saturation fire and cyclical fire. Cyclical fire is good, I had it skilled, but um, the problem here was uh, lack of movement so that I could use it uh, not often enough uh, to really make it uh, worth. Saturation fire um, is exactly what I uh, was saying earlier, uh, an AoE attack that allows you to, uh, to attack a cone of enemies. Um, which is absolutely great um, if it uh, um, if it wasn't for better skills such as cool under pressure I would always skill that but luckily they are in a different track so on master sergeant saturation fire definitely something to look out for I would probably still go for combat fitness because the package is just better overall uh, you might think yeah saturation fire but you can hit multiple targets listen uh, the the uh, the keys to success in most of the situations is to raise the chance, the expected chance to succeed on a mission. And while saturation fire is good on that one mission where you get a great angle and hit three and you completely uh, knocked it out of the park with it, uh, the chances that the four aim will pay more dividend alone um, are very high. On top of it, you gain one ability, uh, uh, one mobility, you get two hit points, which is uh, a lot on top of it. Uh, will lets you recover faster and dodge gives you a small chance to um, to take less damage. So it's just a super strong package in my uh, in my um, uh, personal book. Finally, traverse fire after taking a standard shot with your primary weapon. Uh, with your first action, you might take an additional non-movement action. Um, keep that in mind. Normally, when you take a shot, you can move. That's uh, one of the um, abilities. Yeah, here. Um, no. Um, it's actually not one of the uh, core abilities. Um, this here allows you uh, without, it's a little bit like hit and run, but it allows you to uh, basically take a shot and then take another action. Uh, you could combine traverse fire with rapid fire if you want to increase the damage. And by thinking about it, I could see that probably combat fitness and traverse fire are equally attractive because you could also traverse fire and then afterwards area suppression which isn't bad either um, i was lucky to get um, sentinel for even more overwatch uh, shots um, on um, roby here so i'm definitely going to go uh, with that and he has a couple of other skills that just give flat bonuses to his uh, otherwise uh, meager um, aim but for the final um, uh, for the final um, option, I would probably say if you 
leg aim, go for combat uh, fitness right away because you have such a low aim to begin with. That's the better skill. If you are in a situation like Roby in this case, I would probably say after you trained your aim uh, quite a bit, Traverse Fire is in the very late end game the better choice. Uh, and you can see how this um, class essentially would uh, take one shot. Um, and then either rapid fire to kill a target or take one shot and area suppress uh, with a huge magazine capacity of seven. That means another three um, shots on top of it with Sentinel and cool under pressure um, uh, plus uh, some other bonuses. That'll mean you are going to just apply a lot of pressure and keep the battlefield safe. Now, alternative um, uh, skill builds uh, really quick before we um, end today's episode. Um, I don't think that the saw gunner at the moment is such a great idea. I would either go um, this hybrid build that I've just shown you, which is uh, pre predominantly uh, support and uh, damage as a backup, or if you really have a low... Uh, aim gunner uh, I would probably go for the um, uh, pure uh, knockdown or lockdown build uh, which is grazing fire into lockdown <clears throat> into mayhem skip shredder which is costly but uh, it is what it is in uh, in this particular case um, I would still go for demolition um, so that you can at least take away cover. Cool under pressure if uh, that's possible. And then in this particular case, if you're just going to overwatch, go for uh, kill zone. Um, nah, I'll take that back. Go for rapid fire. It's just better. Go for rapid fire and then um, you're ending with combat uh, fitness because uh, that'll give you still uh, more survivability. So that would be my other build that I would uh, suggest you're, you're taking the gunner. Um, the gunner itself, definitely a, an interesting character class, but probably one that is more difficult to uh, enable in the combat. Uh, once you found a way to enable it, though, it can shine in the battlefield. Enjoy your gunners, enjoy the heavy um, LMGs and HMGs here, and see you on the next run. Bye-bye.